let me see. Leave a comment below. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you like and subscribe. Welcome to another episode of Ooh, What's That? Where I go over technology and websites and apps that I find that I think are just really, really cool. And I just want to share them with you. So on today's episode, we are going to talk about the Wise Smartwatch. And with the release of Samsung's new uh, Galaxy Watch, you know, I, I've actually always loved smartwatches. I had a Moto 360 when that first came out. I mean, I bought a couple. I had a couple of the Samsung Galaxy watches. I no longer have them or else I would have pulled them out of the drawer. Uh, I had an Amaze Fit. I had a Fitbit. I had a couple of different smartwatches in my uh in my lifetime of smartwatches but i want to go over the why smartwatch because this smartwatch is one it's twenty dollars let's just get that out of the way that already makes it a smartwatch that you want to buy but um it works good with amazon um uh, amazon it works good with google with android um it doesn't have the new android uh ios system that's operating for smartwatches and it doesn't actually use the traditional uh, smartwatch uh, Android app store uh, it has like its own thing oh yeah I had a pebble too I forgot all about that before they got bought out but um I just want to share this with you guys and usually in my videos that's the watch that you see me wearing on my wrist this is it this is the 44 millimeter wise smartwatch that I currently have here in my hand and this is a amaze fit yeah amaze fit uh, smartwatch I just wanted to show you guys a comparison as far as like the size is concerned so the, the wise is a little bit bigger it's a little bit thicker uh, it's a little thicker than the amaze fit but overall it's nice it actually works really good like the amaze fit it's got a nice little side button right here on the side um, you know you hold the face to get to the uh, the watch faces you can switch them out so you hold down the face and then you can switch out the watch faces so you can switch that out but uh, I like the watch I think it's really nice it's pretty dope uh, swipe up uh, for settings swipe down for text messages it'll show you your messages and you swipe to the left to see like steps and and you know health stuff uh, calories and steps and things like that and then you swipe right if you want to see the apps that you have on the watch right so again I like the wise smartwatch we're gonna look at the at uh, the website and then I'm gonna show you guys the app itself and how that functions so over here on the website as you can see we got the wise smartwatch this is a 47 mill millimeter uh, watch so the thicker one a little bit bigger uh, and uh, like I said twenty dollars you got the warranty that you can buy on it uh, not too bad as far as the pricing is concerned so here's the different things that the watch itself can do it does do heart monitoring it's not automatic you have to press um, the heart monitor thing and then it'll 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 you know do the heart monitoring track your heart uh, blood oxygen level right so it'll do that only when you when you press the the button when you request it right uh, yes the screen is big it has a nice big screen aluminum frame that is true I like the the frame around it I've dropped the watch a couple of times and there are a few scratches on the frame but nothing too bad the screen hasn't cracked or broke so I, I will say that it's nice having that uh, shortcut to wise right so it does do that in fact it does there are shortcuts on the the watch if you have other wise items so me personally I have wise cameras I don't have their light bulbs or anything else really it's just the cameras that I that I currently own uh, but you can control the lights and things like that from the watch which is pretty cool to me mix and match designs now the watch faces there are not a bunch of watch faces to pick from there's not like a hundred five hundred of them that's it's not like that at all there are a few though talking maybe i'll show you in the app and uh water resistant yeah i've taken a shower with it it works great 
No, it speaks to your body. The steps, it does keep track of your steps. That's an automatic thing. And you can connect it to another app like um, Google Fit or, or um, I don't know, what other fitness apps you use. I know Google Fit, though, it connects to because that's the one that I use. Right? Heart rate, as I said, you have to press it for it to do it. You have to actually tell the watch to do it for it to do it. It doesn't do it automatically. Sleep monitoring, it does do that automatically. It's actually tracked my sleep pretty well. I'll show you guys in a second on the app. Uh, menstrual health, it definitely keeps track of your menstruation period. Uh, the watch knows that I'm a man. I've told the watch that I'm a man and the watch still keeps track of my period. It still pops up and tells me you are menstruating. Uh, you know, so I guess I'm menstruating. Even though in the womb, we all start off as female when we are uh, developing into males. Males is kind of like a genetic deformity. But we're not even going to get into that. That's a whole other thing. You guys can research that on your own. But, um, yeah, it works with popular apps. So, like I said, it's pretty cool. Nine-day battery life. I don't know about nine days. Or maybe in the beginning, I want to say maybe it did last nine days. But nowadays... My battery life, I get, mm, I want to say like a week, a week. It, it, for it to go fully dead without me ever charging it, because usually I charge it when I go to take a shower. So when I go to take a shower, I take it off, I put it on a charger. Speaking of a charger, this is the charger. In the box, it just comes with the cord. You have to have your own uh, box. This is a USB box so you plug it into the box and then this right here snaps onto the back of the watch there's a port on the back that it uh, snaps to so that's pretty that's easy peasy the box doesn't have much else in it right so the battery life like I said uh, I want to say with no charging yeah you could probably get like nine days it's, it's about a week and some change that you uh, get out of that so that's everything as far as the watch is concerned. This is the website, wise.com, where you can uh, see, oh, there it goes in the box, right? Quick start and the magnetic charger and a black strap, which is what I currently have on it. Now, the straps are cool. This is the Amazfit. The straps are cool because it works the same way like the Amazfit. It has the little, uh, the little uh, easy click to take off. The, the the straps. I didn't want to take off the strap on my watch because I'm wearing it. I put it back on my wrist. I don't want to take it back off. But yes, it has the easy straps. Here are the specs information if you're looking for that. But the the like I said on the website, 20 bucks. Nice buy. If you have an Android phone and you're looking to get into smartwatches, $20 easy buy. Your you know your kids or your nephew has an Android phone and they want a smartwatch, 20 bucks. Not going to kill you. It's easy buy right now I'm going to show you guys the app so when you're on the phone and you're using the app when you open up the wise app this is how it opens up initially like I said I have cameras so you can see my cameras if I had other objects on here it would show you those other objects so you just click on the wise smartwatch app and here it is so here are the watch faces that I have selected you can again pick other faces like I said before there's not a lot of selection it's not like they give you a whole variety to choose from there are a few of these here and the ones that you like you can pick it and uh, you can only do three of them at a time you can pick it and put it on the watch so when you hold down the watch uh, face you can pick from the three main ones that you have selected there right so that's what that's what this is at the top the three main ones and then the settings so the stretch reminder I have mine set so every hour on the hour it will send you a little message when it feels that you have not been moving just telling you hey it's time to get up and move uh, activity goal is the same you tell it what you want how many steps you want to take the type of calories that you're trying to burn uh, apps is like weather and then shortcut apps that you would choose from for the shortcuts I haven't picked any I don't really use my watch like that my watch is mainly for telling me the time and whenever a notification comes in if I don't want to grab my phone which I usually don't try to grab my I don't really touch my phone when I'm at home or yeah, when I'm at home, I really try not to touch my phone unless I'm talking on the phone. And even then, I don't really touch it because I use my, my AirPods or my, my Google 
my Google Pods to answer the phone and I just talk on it. Now you cannot answer the phone on your watch. So your watch will vibrate when it's ringing and you can only ignore the call. You can't actually pick up the call from the watch and there is no voice uh, commanding on the watch. You cannot do that, at least not to my knowledge. It's never done it for me. Um, watch app display. So, you know, here you get to pick uh, which how it works like which ones you want to see in what order you can do that and as I said They got the indoor running the data the sleep the menstrual cycle the alarm I guess for me. I could have actually turned that off. That's why it has that Thing there that because it knows that I'm a man as I said right and uh, in which case you would set that up uh, raise to wake uh, wearing wrist that's the you would tell it which hand you wear your watch on so that that way you can have a better idea for the race to wake and the activity so it can monitor your activity better right uh, let's see here what else we got I wanted to show you guys running in the background that's the Google uh, stretch reminder the weather data here it is so this is how the data works and then of course at the bottom there's also my info as I said it's just showing who I am and me and that I'm a boy and blah 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 but this the data is very nice as far as tracking your data so your sleep like I said it tracks your sleep it shows you today or you can go by the weekly or you can go by the monthly and it will show you every single day that you wore the watch to sleep it tracks it for you so I thought that that was pretty dope that's some pretty cool stuff uh, the heart rate again you have to tell it when to take your heart rate so you got the monthly you got the weekly that you can you can track it. I try to track my heart rate every day. I try to do it in the morning when I wake, sometime in the afternoon, and then probably again before I go to bed. But I'm not very, you know, keen on that. I don't really pay attention to that too often. The SPO has not been working for me. Uh, maybe for other people it works much better, but for me personally, it has not been working right. It took it for me one time uh, during July, and then other than that it never really took it again for me so that's not really something that I pay attention to plus I don't really work out enough to sweat my morning workouts are more like just stretching to get my muscles nice and relaxed and you know tone up my body a little bit I'm not really working out to get big or nothing like that so the calories is tracking it'll track that for you the same thing you got the monthly the weekly so on and so forth and then the steps Easy peasy, it tracks the steps as well, monthly, uh, monthly, weekly, and uh, so on and so forth. Well, wow, my phone is loading pretty slow with the information, right? But monthly, weekly. So I just wanted to share with you guys the Wise Smart Watch. Like I said, 20 bucks, easy buy, nice watch. I really enjoy it. I think that it's pretty dope that it's a $20 smart watch. You can't lose off that. So I just wanted to share that with you guys if you're looking for a good little Christmas present or a birthday present for sheep this is the way to go as long as the person has an Android if they have Apple and iOS watch which they shouldn't because Apple is storing your pictures and searching through your your pictures and then sending it to the police for child uh, pornography or whatever they're looking for but that's a whole nother video but uh, yeah, if you're looking for a good gift to give to somebody, 20 bucks, nice and cheap, 30 bucks tops because you got to put in the shipping and handling and things like that. But I just wanted to share this with you guys and hopefully you found this useful and you can get a nice gift. Leave a comment below if you guys have any other type of smart watches as I like smart watches. But thanks for watching another episode of Ooh, What's That? Let's all remember that we all out here trying to do the same thing. Just be happy and survive. Y'all stay blessed.